All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to talk today about Vivek Ramaswamy, Republican presidential candidate, obliterating a Washington Post reporter uh, after she asked him a gotcha question regarding um, white supremacy. Okay, so I'm going to play the clip and then we'll talk a little bit about it. I mean, what this kind? Who are you with? What, which Washington Post. Wash, Washington Post? All right, so <laughs> potato, potato. Okay. Of course, I condemn any form of vicious racial discrimination in this country, but I think that the presumption of your question is fundamentally based on a falsehood. That that really is the main form of racial discrimination we see in this country today. Institutionalized racism is institutionalized racial discrimination that we see that doesn't come from somehow discriminating against people on the basis of some tenet of white supremacy. It's based on affirmative action. It's based on actually discriminating against people on the color of their skin in a way that's actually institutionalized today. Was there a point in our history at points in our prior national history where there have been vicious forms of anti-black or anti-brown discrimination throughout this country after the Civil War and otherwise? Yes. But you're looking in the rearview mirror and using that to pose a question today that is so far removed from what the reality is in America today. This myth of white supremacy, the closest you can find is Jussie Smollett, where you all were actually speaking of trust in the media, jumping up and down over some false narrative. The best way you're able to find your best instance of white supremacy was a guy who was actually paying his other fellow people to be actually staging something that didn't happen. OK, all right. So. Um, I thought that was pretty good. I mean, th this is just another in a long line of uh, interactions that Mr. Ramaswamy has had uh, on the campaign trail, um, shutting down, well, not only re other uh, reporters, but uh, some of his fellow um, Republican uh, presidential candidates as well, particularly uh, Nikki Haley. But I thought the guy did a really good job here in a, in a very short amount of time. Um, one, not accepting the premise of the question. I mean, you know, these these reporters don't don't go around, you know, asking Democrat politicians these stupid kind of questions about, oh, well, you know, do you do you condemn domestic violence? Do you, do you can I mean, wh why do we have to go around, you know, anybody have to go around denouncing something or rejecting something or i mean there's there's bigger fish to fry here folks and vivek ramaswamy is the the first poli politician at least the first national politician that i've seen that's basically calling out the, the fact that this whole constant um festering and, and this 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 constant talk about so-called white supremacy is actually more divisive and more destructive and more insidious than you know any actual white supremacy that is around and that that needs to be how how we combat th this kind of narrative about oh well do you do you condemn white supremacy and white nationalism i mean throw throw it back at him throw it back at him just like vivek ramaswamy did here this was a this was a great this was a great clip it's it's very instructive it's very short it's very to the point and i think this guy has a good future in politics if he if he keeps his head on straight if he keeps his head on straight so anyways that's what i think let me know what you all think and as always we'll see you on the next one